This video is on second order homogeneous recurrence relation. See here, the second order homogeneous recurrence relation is a n is equal to c1 a n minus 1 plus c2 a n minus 2. Here the order is equal to. So the difference between the greatest subscript and the least subscript. Here the greatest subscript is n and the least subscript is n minus 2. n minus of n minus 2 so which is equal to 2. So this is nothing but the second order homogeneous recurrence relation. So, how to find this characteristic equation? See here, the characteristic equation is R square minus C1R minus C2 is equal to 0. So, after finding this, we have to find the roots. Let the roots of this characteristic equation be R1 as well as R2. And these are the roots and this, this is the solution here. If the roots are real and distinct, so we have different, different real and different roots example 2 comma 3 so the solution here will be a n is equal to alpha 1 r 1 power n plus alpha 2 r 1 r 2 power n so for example if you take 2 comma 3 so it can be written as alpha 1 2 power n plus alpha 2 into 3 power n if the roots are real and equal so for example 2 comma 2 so the solution will be a n is equal to alpha 1 plus n times of alpha 2 into r power n. So, here a n can be written as alpha 1 plus n alpha 2 into this is 2 power n. So, if the roots are complex roots, see here a n can be written as r power n times of alpha 1 cos n theta plus alpha 2 sin n theta. See here the r value will get by root over r1 square plus r2 square whereas the theta value is equal to tan inverse of alpha 2 by alpha 1. So, here is the problem. So, we have to solve the recurrence relation a n is equal to 5 a n minus 1 minus 6 a n minus 2. And how to solve this? See here the given recurrence relation here is in the solution the given the given recurrence relation is a n is equal to 5 n minus 1 minus 6 a n minus 2. The characteristic equation can be written as, see here, the characteristic equation. So, the characteristic equation is equal to, so this is nothing but r square minus, this is 5r and minus of minus, this one is plus 6. So, here if you send this to other side, this is plus 6 is equal to 0. Now, I am going to find out the roots for this. So, r square minus 2r minus 3r plus 6 is equal to 0. So, if I take r common, this will be r minus 2 and if I take 3 common, this will be again r minus 2. So, if I take r minus 2 common, so this will be r minus 3 is equal to 0. So, r is equal to 2 comma 3. Now, the roots are real as well as distinct. Therefore, if the roots are real and distinct, distinct, then see what happens. Hence, the solution is, hence the solution for this is, the formula here is a n is equal to, this is c 1, 2 power n and c 2, this is 3 power n. So, this is 3 power n and here we have some conditions here that is a0 is equal to 1 and a1 is equal to 0. So, here a0 is equal to 1 and a1 is equal to 0. So, if I put n is equal to 0, then a0 is equal to c1, this is 2 power 0 and c2, this is 3 power 0. What is a0? a0 is nothing but 1. Anything to the power of 0 is 1. So, this will be c1 plus c2. So, this is equation number 1. So, this will be some 1 equation and next we want a1. So, for that if I keep n is equal to 1 here, this will be a1 is equal to c1 2 power 1 plus this is uh, c2, this is 3 power 1. What is a1 here? a1 from the condition is 0 is equal to this is 2 c1 plus 3 c2 and this is nothing but equation 2. Now, I am going to solve on solving See here, on solving 1 and 2 equations. See here, according to the first equation, we have C1 
c1 plus c2 is equal to 1. According to the second equation, we have 2c1 plus 3c2 is equal to 0. So, if I multiply, so this equation 1 and this is equation 2. If I multiply with 2 and uh, subtract, then see what happens. This will be 2c1 plus 2c2 is equal to 2. And this is 2c1 plus 3c2 is equal to 0. So, if I subtract this one, so this will get cancelled. And see here, so this will be minus c2 is equal to 2. And we got c2 as, so we got c2 as minus 2. The value here is minus 2. And the next one, if I substitute the same thing in equation 1. So, equation 1 implies a c1 plus c2 is equal to 1. If I substitute, minus 2 is equal to 1 and c1 value is 1 plus 2. And c1 is equal to, this value is 3. See here, we got c1 as 3 and uh, c2 as minus 2. Hence, our solution a n is equal to, this is a c1, this is 2 power n and this is... Uh, C2, this is 3 power n. See here the solution here. So, in this place, if I substitute the C1, C2 values, then that will be the solution. So, a n is equal to what is C1? Minus 2 times of this is 2 power n plus this. So, here what is C1? C1 is nothing but 3. 3 times of 2 power n and this C2 value is nothing but minus 2 times of this is 3 power n. So, this is how we have to solve and this is so simple if you follow these steps. So, this is the second order homogeneous recurrence relation and the characteristic equation is nothing but r square minus 5r plus 6 is equal to 0 and after finding the roots, these roots are real as well as distinct. So, this can be written as a n is equal to c1 into 2 power n plus c2 e power 3 n and the conditions given are a0 is equal to 1 and a1 is equal to 0. Forgetting a0, so we have to keep n is equal to 0 and this will be the equation that is c1 plus c2 is equal to 1 and if I keep n is equal to 1 in this equation then we will be getting 0 is equal to 2 c1 plus 2 c2 and after solving this we got the values of c1 See here, C1 as 3 and C2 as minus 2. And if I substitute the same thing here, and this will be the solution for the second order homogeneous uh, recurrence relation. And here, the second question here is, solve the recurrence relation for A n is equal to A, A, 8 times of A n minus 1 minus 16 times of A n minus 2. See here, in this solution, the recurrence relation is given as, so the recurrence relation is given as a n is equal to a times of a n minus 1 minus 16 times of a n minus 2. The characteristic equation will be, see here, the characteristic equation is nothing but, see I am showing this is r square. So, this is r square. If I send to other side, this will be 8r plus 16 is equal to 0. So, this can be written as, for finding roots, this can be written as r minus 4 whole square is equal to 0. See here, a square, this is b square minus 2ab. So, we got the roots that is r minus 4 into r minus 4 is equal to 0. So, we got the roots real and equal roots. So, the, hence the solution will be, hence the solution will be, hence the solution is a n is equal to, so this is c1 plus c2 n into this is 4 power n. So, this is 4 power n and this is the solution and there are some initial condition as a0 is equal to 16. So, here a0 is equal to 16 and a1. So, a1 is given as 80. So, a1 is given as 80. For getting a0, we have to keep n is equal to 0. So, if I keep n is equal to 0, this will be a0 that is a c1 plus uh, 0 into c2 into this is 4 power 0. So, what is a0 here? a0 is nothing but 16 is equal to c1. So, this is 0 and anything to the power of 0 is 1. So, we got the value of uh, c1 as 16. 
So we got the C1 value as 16 and next coming to n is equal to 1. So if I keep n is equal to 1 here, this will be a1 is equal to, this is a c1 plus c2 into 1 into this value is 4 power 1. So what is a1 value? So a1 is nothing but a d. So this is a c1 plus a c2 into 4. What is c1 value? So c1 value is nothing but 16 plus a c2 into 4. So this value will be, so this will be 64 plus 4c2. So this is 80 minus 64 is equal to 4c2. So this will be 6 and 16 is equal to 4c2. So if I cancel this is 16 by 4. So c2 value is equal to 4. So after getting c2 and c1 values, so now we have to substitute in the solution. So what is the solution value here? The solution value is nothing but an is equal to. So an is equal to c1 plus c2n into 4 power n. So if I substitute the same thing here, so an value is equal to what is c1? c1 is nothing but 16. What is c2? c2 is nothing but 4. So, this is 4 times of n into this is 4 power n. So, here a n is equal to. So, if I take 4 common, this will be 4 plus n into 4 power n. So, a n value is equal to this is power n. So, this can be written as 4 power n plus 1 into this is into uh, 4 plus n. So, this is how we have to solve and this is so simple. So, here the recurrence relation is given as a n is equal to 8 times of a n minus 1 minus 16 times of a n minus 2. So, the characteristic equation is r square minus 8 r plus 16 is equal to 0. So, if you find the roots, we will be getting equal and uh, real roots. So, hence the solution will be c1 plus c2 n into 4 power n. So, we have some conditions that a0 is equal to 16 and a1 is equal to 80. So, if I keep n is equal to 0, so I am getting c1 value as 16. If I keep n is equal to 1, I got c2 value as 4. So, in this solution, if I keep the value of c1 as 16 and c2 as 4, and this will be the general solution for this. And thank you so much for watching and staying till the end. And if you follow these videos and you can solve any any model of this type very easily thank you so much have a look at my next video and it will be of third order homogeneous recurrence relation uh, methods and solutions will be there and thank you so much for watching and staying till the end